I'm fucking pissed. That's what I am. Where's my piece? Callahan here. Christ's sake. YouTube blocks my video. Now here I am. Here I am after work. Yeah. Uh huh. Here I am after work. Reporting for fucking duty. Yeah. And we're scanning. We're scanning. I can't take it anymore. I can't take it. And then, and then I made my breakfast the other morning. My day off. My day off. You think I could get away from these animals? I'm eating my breakfast the, the other day, and my partner from work sends me this: a fucking recording of one of, of his fucking filthy fart. This is what I gotta listen to while I'm eating my breakfast. I was like, all right. I push my bowl of Cheerios across the table. I'm done. That's the kind of fucking piggery I got to deal with. You know what? I can't tolerate nice people anymore. Just because somebody's nice doesn't mean they're nice! Ah! My, my piece fell right on my foot. God damn it. You're a human being. Okay, all this. Hi, how are you today? This, that. Oh, the weather's beautiful. I did the beep, but the beep, bop, and beep, beep, boop. I'm throwing up. That doesn't mean you're nice. Somebody that's nice can come up to you and tell you the truth sometimes. You know, like, hey, where'd you get the hat? Why don't you throw it in a, a fucking uh, a fireplace the next time you get the opportunity? Yeah, that's not... That's nice sometimes. Somebody can tell you the truth. Yeah. I don't know. Listen, we got this guy at work. He's pushing a flat full of fucking cardboard. And the fucking thing tips over and spills all over the floor. Anybody in their right mind would go, Motherfucking cunt of Christ! So now now I'm right behind him. Now I gotta help the guy. What am I gonna sit there with my fucking thumb in my nose while he's picking it up the golf? I gotta get around him, so I gotta help him. And besides, I, I like to help people. Not really. Anyhow. I'm helping him pick up his trash, and he says to me, he's got the good... Now I'm involved, all right, in, in your nicety-nice setup. He says, he has the nerve to say to me, you know, Buddha said that uh, desire is suffering. I turned and I looked at the kid. As I'm lifting more garbage than he's lifting off the floor, and I said, Buddha was a fat pig. Because I had it with his nice bullshit. And you know what he said? He goes, Oh, well, nobody's perfect. Yeah. What? Anyway, I saw right through this guy. Okay, you understand? Because I saw what happened when we went into the break room. Okay, and he's sitting there being nice and nice. And this woman comes in. She's... She comes in with a fruitcake. Uh, you... Listen, this woman might have a track history of bringing in, like, a cake with fucking dog hair hanging out of it. All right? You know, she has a legendary kind of reputation for bringing in, like, bacon goods. And when you cut it open, there's, like, a big, like, a uh, flough of fucking dryer lint in there. You understand? There's like a mouse claw coming out the side of this fucking cake. All right? She brings in a fruit cake, so automatically my, my radar goes on. I have fruit cake. And this guy's like, "Oh, yeah, fruit cake's dynamite. I love fruit cake." So she go so 
This is what happens to the nice people. She goes, oh, great. She cuts them a big log of fruit. <laughs> a fruitcake. Now, I'm thinking to myself... I'm doing the math here. We're like sixteen months. We're like six months out from Christmas, and she's ripping out a fruitcake, and then she's telling everybody about how she got it from this surplus store. I was like, "How? What?" She puts the she gives the kid the, kid the fruitcake there, and he's like, "Oh, it's got icing on it." Whoever saw fruitcake with icing on it? He goes, "Oh, what kind of icing is that?" She says, "Oh, that's a marzipan icing." I'm like, "Marzipan." Marzipan's like what you would buy for art class when you're making like clay, the clay bowl of fruit, you're making out of marzipan. We're going to eat this now? He hits the, he hits the icing with the fork and it like cracks off the fruit, fruit cake and breaks in two onto the plate. I'm like, oh boy, this is getting good. So now she's got her back to him sitting at a different table. I see him take one bite of the fruit cake and... I could almost see, like, the bolt of electricity go down his spine. Like, oh! I could see... <laughs> and the chew, you know, the, the, the toothy chew, like... Oh, uh, I gotta get this down. So what does he do? He looks around the room. Now, I'm like... I'm like incognito over here. Like, I got, I, I got him in peripheral. I see him start to look around the room, so I kind of glance off. But then I glance right back. He folds the plate in half. He goes over to the trash can. And he fucking... He slithers over to the trash can. And he dumps it in. And then he walks by this woman. And he says, Oh, thank you for the fruitcake. It was excellent. And this is one of my biggest regrets. That I'm going to have to live with when I go to my deathbed. This is the moment I'm going to think about. When I let this one slide by. Because what I should have did... Is I should have said, oh yeah? If you like the fruitcake so much, why'd you just slam dunk it into the trash can? But I didn't have the heart to do it. Cause I'm the nice guy! Jesus, anybody listen? Roll the theme song. Simply pseudo move, bottle like blue, transistors are never more show, more like wind vocal flow, breathing all down the ruins. Look one, look two. Straight out of Abbeville, baby, De La Soul. Right down the road. Long one. Long two. Get out of here. Damn it. Guys, YouTube fucked me tender. They blocked my video. And I'm here on a mission up, up. Listen, it's after work, and I want to talk to you about something I'm so very excited about. I haven't been ex so excited about this in a long time. I discovered my new favorite video game. That's right, folks. It's for the PS4. And look at this setup we got for you today. This is a very special occasion. Because this, this game has single-handedly uh, given me faith. Faith in modern video games. Oh, yeah. Guys, I'm telling you right now, God forbid this channel ever gets any traction. And some gaming companies try to send me games. I'm telling you right now, God forbid. It's one thing that's not going to happen when you come to this show. I'm going to recommend you a game... And you bet on your mother's filthy cunt! It's going to be a good game. You understand me? When you get a recommendation from me, it's like Bob Vila on this old house. Remember? 
Bob Vila? Anybody? God damn it. He used to work on walk on the job site. If you were working on something, he'd come over, he'd start shaking it. I'd be like, oh my God. I'd be sitting at home. I'm like, oh, what is he doing? You were mixing concrete, he'd come in there, he'd start mixing it with you. I'm like, oh boy. Jeez, Bob. Remember that? He would just grab stuff and start shaking it. Is, how, is that sturdy? Listen, I'm the Bob Vila of video games. Do you understand me? I'm going to play it. I'm going to understand it. I'm going to tell you whether it's shit or it's not shit. So listen here, Nintendo. Don't send me arms. Because I'm going to tell you what a complete pile of shit it is. I'm not going to sit there and suck your dick. That's probably why this show will never go anywhere. But hey! Here we go. I got such an exciting record. And that game is Dead Cells. Yes. Yes. Oh, man. I'm fired up to talk about this one. Uh, this is really, really exciting. This one right here. I remember uh, this was sent to us on Christmas by, I forget the name. I'll put it in down below. I'll go to the video and find it and put it down below. Best regards is Dario. I know Dario. He sent us Valfaris uh, and Dead Cells. And man, does this guy get me? Because Valfaris is excellent. But this game right here, it pushed me over the edge. I'm going to tell you why. When it, Trevor from Top Loaded Gaming, when he saw that I got it, a, a week or two later, asked me, Hey, did you play Dead Cells? I heard a lot about it. Is she kidding me? Hey, hey, hey. I'm running a hit show in here. Can you keep it down? This is what happens when you get a fucking dog. What are you talking about? Trevor says to me, he said, did you play it yet? I said, no, I haven't tried it yet. I said, why? He goes, oh, I heard a, uh, ba ba ba, I'm curious about it. And then he texts me like a day later. He goes, yeah, about Dead Cells. I heard it has uh, r randomly generated uh, levels. And I was like, oh. That sucks. I'm not into that. And he's like, yeah, me either. So I was like, mm. I brushed it off. I said, oh, I don't, I don't want to deal with a game like that. That pisses me off. You're going to change the levels around every time I die? Anyhow, you start playing this game. Number one, let's get two things out of the way. The art style, magnificent. The graphics are absolutely gorgeous. It's 2D platforming, side-scrolling, I don't know what you want to call it, pixelated, gorgeous art design. Oh my god, beautiful. The lighting effects, like when you get the shrines, and it has like these... Uh, rays of light that come out of them, create these shadows and <laughs> absolutely gorgeous the character design beautiful characters that you meet in the game beautiful so odd so strange so macabre <laughs> What do I know about the game? Nothing. Nothing. Is there a tutorial? There's no tutorial. I just started to play. And I started to discover. And I started to unravel what 
I still don't know what the story is, and I don't care! Because I continue to unravel the music. Let's get that out of the way. It's gorgeous. It's haunting. It's atmospheric. It puts you in the mood. The play control, spot on. You run, the attacks, you have a, a sword attack, okay? You have the option between an arrow attack or a shield. I always pick the arrow attack, I'm an offensive player, I always will be. This is the RPG for people that don't have time to play an RPG. How about that? Fast paced action with RPG elements incredible weapons power-ups what you need to explain how to explain you start off you're dead this thing rolls into you it gives you life they give you this roundabout story like oh you're back again this that you're like how what who says who, what you start to play you die you go back to the start. The board changes. Random. It's a randomly generated board, so the board rearranges. You're like, how what? But it's almost like there are different levels that you can get to. But if you die, you go back to the start, and the, all the boards rearrange. It would almost be like if you played Super Mario Brothers level one. And you died, and you went back, and you played... It's level one, the mechanics of it all, and the graphics are all level one, but everything's rearranged. This hole's over there, this pipe's in a different place, you know, these uh, enemies are over here, bop, bip, bop, bing. It's all redone. Here's the thing. As you go out, you also find different weapons. Now, some weapons, you get freeze grenades. You throw the freeze grenades, it freezes a guy. Then you have a sword, you kill the guy. Bing, bang, boom. Now you get a freeze grenade, now you get a sword and that causes more damage against a frozen enemy. So you say, okay, this is the direction I'm gonna go because this is the weapons that I have. How can I improve and get the most damage points for the weapons that I have? Oh my God, so much fun! So you try to create this, this weapon arsenal because you could basically have about about four different weapons if you want, even five, okay? And you can combo the weapons so that they work with each other to create the most damage. And so you create this character, and every time you go out, you get a new set of weapons. So you're like, okay, how do I work this? Let me look at my damage. Let me look at, okay, this one does 100 damage, very effective sword. But this one does 30 damage, but it creates a... F it sets the guy on fire, and he sits there and he burns from damage. Or he'll set a, a group of people on fire. Oh my god. Or I can get a whip that electrocutes guys, and then I have a hit advantage on, on uh, somebody that's on fire. Or something like this. It's, so you mix and match, but then you die. And you start over again. And I kept on dying and starting over again, and dying and starting over again. I said, well, where's the progress? Am I making progress? You are making progress. Because as you travel through the board, you get to the next level. And in the interim, you go to a place where you meet somebody and they ask you about dead cells. How many cells do you have? And it's cells that you've reaped from enemies that you've killed. And you take these cells and you put them towards skills. And you build up different skills. Okay. You have a grenade that you throw. And then it has to recharge a couple of seconds before you can use it again. So you get a skill where you can cut down the refresh time on your grenades. So if that's a weapon that you have, that's great. Or if you have a sword, uh, it can give you extra damage points after the first attack. Like all these different skills. So you can build on that. So now you have all your weapon combos. Then you can add these skills. 
And then there's attributes that you could add on top of that. You keep your skills after you die. You lose your attributes. But as you continue on, you build weapons, and there's certain things that you could leave behind for your dead, for your dead body the next time you come back to life. This game is so addictive. It's so satisfying when you make a kill. With a, a sword attack, the sword attack is brutal, and different swords have different attacks. Some swords are heavy broadswords. Gadoosh! Gadoosh! They're slow, but oh, they take so much damage. Some swords are fast. Oh, yeah! You can drop these sentries, which are like almost like machine guns or crossbows that you drop on the floor, and they shoot enemies while you're not there. Grenades, uh, arrows, different type of arrows, whips. Picture, picture time! Such an honor to present this game to you guys. It really is. Uh, you gotta give this game like five solid runs. You understand? Five solid runs. And I'm not even very good at it. But I enjoy playing it oh so much. Here we go. Good, right there? Okay, let's go. Uh, number one, let's turn the volume up. Look at the graphics. Come on. Would you come on? Okay, that's gold we left from ourselves from last time. Nice little, look at this beautiful glass. Oh, there's something there I never saw before. What? How do I open these jaws? Okay, never mind that. Alright, so we have our sword attack. We get our bow right here, okay? Listen to the sound. Shield, I don't waste my time with shields. There's a, shri there's a uh, shrine that allows you... Oh! Too loud? Alright, too loud. Got a nice double jump here. Here we go, ready? We got a cell. We're in. Kebab for health, we don't need it now. Here we go. Oh my god, how about this fast-paced action? Oh, these are great. Look at this. So already we start. We upgrade. I use brutality because what it does is it, it, it upgrades your sword. This upgrades your arrow. And this we don't have anything in left and right yet. Okay, so here we go. Brutality. Yes. Hit points up and your attack points up. 
See, now we can teleport. We can go back to where we keep, where we passed that other shrine, if we please. But we don't need to right now. Okay, here we go. We can pay some money to open this up. We have some money, so we'll do it. What do we got here? Balance blade. Let's check it out. All right, here's our sword. 130 D 37 DPS. This one's 147 DPS. Carefully balanced for rapid attacks. I'm in! See? Woo, baby! Let's try the other one. Ready? Look at this. See? A little slower. So we get a win-win. Faster and more powerful. Oh, it's beautiful. Here we go. Another shrine. See? We can see where we are. This is where we want to be. Oh. Yes. I should have arrowed that guy a long time ago. There we go. Up for this fool. Oh, look at how nice. Yes. This suck with the arrows. The enemy design is beautiful. I think it's gorgeous. Look at this. This guy. Got him. Got a little map over here. Very convenient. A salesman. Here we go. So here we go. Infinity grenade. Very nice. Wolf trap. Traps an enemy. Like, so he can't move. Ice grenade. I'm in! See, there we go. Ice grenade. See how fluid it is? I mean, I've been playing for a while, so I'm making it look good. We came from here. Where, where are we now? Oh, we're at the top. All right, we can go left or right. Let's go left. You want to see the ice grenade in action? I know you do. What is this? Cell door. Yeah, the guy's in the cell. There's, there's always these little storylines going on. A little bit... It reminds me of Prince of Persia. I don't know if it's because of the pants. Alright, that's uh, infantry grenade. Do we want that? We can't afford it. Alright, let's go. We can go this way. Ready? Ready for the ice grenade? Oh. Oh, yeah! Oh! Oh, yeah! Now that ice grenade has got a, a 10 second countdown on it. That's when we can use it again. Oh. Here we go. I'll use it on those two suckers right there. Take them out. This guy. Yep. Here we go. Shrine right there. Let's see where we are. Alright, we can go up. And here we are at the promenade of the condemned. Let's go. Guys, you guys picking up what I'm putting down here? Fantastic. Okay. Look at this guy's design. What has he got? He's got a jug on his back. It's got little valves. Come on, he's in the laboratory. Okay, this guy's cool. I like this guy. We talk to him. Now! We have general upgrades. You see this? Gold reserves pre preserves up to 6,000 gold when you die. In other words, you die and you start off with 6,000 gold. Nice advantage. These are all things that you keep after you die. Got a melee weapon here. Recycling, restock, hunter's trap. These are, these are some things I'm working on right here. I'm looking to get a fire grenade, assassin's dagger. I'm in. I'm in. All the stuff. I'm in. Right now, I have seven cells. I'm going to put it toward my fire grenade. I, I... Listen. Who doesn't want a fire grenade? 
Okay, then we talk to this broad. Now you have mutations. A, a plus 103 damage points for 15 seconds after killing an enemy. Pretty enticing. Fireworks technician. A minus 30% cooldown time on grenades. So if it's 10 seconds to cool down a, a, your grenade to get another grenade, now it's like what, six and a half? I'll take it. You can only pick one. Recovers two points after an enemy dies. All these wonderful things. Adds 30, you know, come on. Here we go. Refill our energy. And we're out. Got a little loading time here. I feel like I'm playing the old Turbo Graphic 16. I'm used, to, I'm vetted for loading time. Okay, here we go. Look at the leaves falling. Yes. Oh. Got a little secret over here, don't we? Yes. Amethyst, I'll take it. Oh. Shrine there. Let's get right to the action. Here we go, buddy. Oh. Walked into that one. Okay, this guy's a son of a bitch up there. I gotta wait a while to charge my grenade. Alright, I want a piece of this animal. I want this guy. Ready? Got him. Nice job. Yes. I mean, you're an assassin here, guys. Oh, no. That guy's the real deal. Ready? Ow! No, 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 Okay, we got him. Okay. We got balls. You ready? Ow! Out of here. Where do we gotta go? Yes, okay, we came from there, now we're here. It's good. You can teleport in those anytime you want to. Oh, these graphics. The graphics are unbelievable. The water, listen to the water. Oh boy, these guys are protected by a force field. You see this? You gotta kill the thing that's protecting. See that thing right there? Oh boy. Oh boy. Whoa boy. Oh, we're in trouble. Oh, we're fucked. Alright, this guy's a son. Ready? B! Get the fuck out of Dodge! Oh, shit! Take my potion. Oh yeah, baby. Don't fuck with Bithead 1000. This son of a bitch. He's creating a force field. Ready? Bang! Okay. This guy. Got him. Grenade him. Out of here. You're out of here. Oh, he's being protected. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Out of here! Oh, guys, the gameplay is so fun! And I died! There you have it! Nobody's perfect! Guys! Lights on for this one. That's it. That's my recogni my recognition. I'm so excited to come on and, and talk to you about this game right here. And hopefully, if we do an upcoming Twitch video, I'd love to present this game as well. It's my new favorite game.
Highly recommended. Oh yeah. You can bet the bank on this one. Guys, you just tuned into the greatest video game program in the history of human civilization. And you better believe that. With the 4K voice! See you next time.